To give you some context, my mother said I'm the president of Wange Foundation International. Right? That's a fancy word for saying that I'm in the U.S. running U.S. operations. I brought students here and black people here so that they can understand that you are their people. Guys, these are your brothers and sisters. Our legacy is the same. They've been praying for you guys, caring for you guys just as much as I have. And if we are going to achieve what God wants from us, we have to understand that we need each other. We're not enemies, we're one. And so I want to thank the scholars that have come. Now we are just like you guys, we have our own little entertainment. And I'm going to wrap it up. But I asked one of my scholars to sing a song to dedicate to you guys. But I want to say that I love you from the bottom of my heart. You'll be seeing more of me. In 2010, in 2010, I'm sorry, 2011, right around this time, I was with my grandfather, William, in July. It's come now to be that was the last conversation we had. He gave me a long lecture with a whole bunch of things. Part of that was get married, and I wish he would have saw that I have a whole tribe now. But one thing he said is, Abuga, even though you're in America, never forget where you come from. He said, your people are here. And then he went on to say, there's a plot somewhere here. Come back, build a school, do something for these kids. That thing has stuck in my head. And I remember every year I'll revisit with my mother. The Lord didn't bless us to bless ourselves. The Lord blessed us to take us back where we came from. And so I want to honor my mother and my father for having the courage to say, let me go back to where I was born and raised and create an institution that is going to help shape. You came and sat nicely under the chairs, but I hope you guys are aware how hard, how much hard work and sacrifice was taken to make this possible. So let me, let me, let me leave you with this encouragement. Is that we serve a God who's bigger than any problem. Amen. And I'm committed to doing whatever it takes to see that this institution just doesn't serve Machau, but I believe one day it could serve Kisi. I believe one day it could serve Western Kenya. And I believe one day it could serve the country at large. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the U.S. people that are here. Y'all could do better than that. We didn't drove six hours.